All right, let's assume that a ball is going around in a vertical circle. Actually, let's go the other way around. Yeah. Okay, so it's just my favorite tennis ball on a string. It's going around in a vertical circle. Here the ball is going that way. The radius of the string is 0.5 meters. The mass of the ball is 0.2 kilograms. And the goal is to find the tension in the string. So if you draw a force diagram on the ball, Then you've got the weight of the ball down. I'm going to use FG. The weight of the ball down. And then you've got the tension pointed up. Now the tension is going to be greater than the weight because the ball is going in a circle, so you have a centripetal force. Let's calculate the weight real quick. And that's going to be 9.8 times 0.2, which is 1.96 newtons. 1.96 newtons. Now, Let's just say for the heck of it that the ball is traveling at the bottom at, just totally making this up, let's say that it's traveling with the speed of 3 meters per second. That's its speed at the bottom. Now you know that centripetal force equals mass times centripetal acceleration. You also know that the centripetal force is the difference between the tension and the weight. They're in opposite directions. So m times ac, remember that ac is v squared over r. OK, so this is going to be m v squared over r. So let's calculate that out. That's 0.2 for the mass times 3 meters per second. That's going to be squared, so 3 squared all over 0.5. And I think that's going to be 45, but don't trust me. Don't, you know, my brain. 0.2 times 9 divided by 4.5, right? Whatever. Not, God, help. Um, 3.6. Ah! Did I get that right? I think so. 3.6. It's hard to get good help these days. Um, 3.6 newtons. Now, so the centripetal force is 3.6 newtons, right? That's, that's going to be the difference between the tension and the weight. They cannot equal each other. Why can't they equal each other? Because it's going in a circle. If it's going in a circle, it's changing direction. There has to be an acceleration. There has to be a net force. And that net force is directed up towards the center of the circle. It's centripetal. Remember, centripetal means towards the center. So tension minus weight is equal to that centripetal force. So T minus 1.96 equals 3.6. And therefore, T equals, well, 1.96 plus 3.6 is 5.56 newtons. And there you have it. So the tension in the string is 5.56 newtons at the very bottom. All right?